I wanted to hike the lowest to highest route because I wanted an adventure. And then what'd you get? And I got an adventure. <laughs> So I got hit up on Instagram by Dirty like maybe three weeks ago being like, hey, do you want to hike lowest to highest? And I was, yeah, it, it's been on the to-do list. But... And he said he was going to do this trip that we had talked about doing several times before. And I was like, well, I'm coming. So I did. <laughs> well, I was sitting in the living room sewing. John walks in with his phone in his hand. He's like, I think I'm going to go hike L2H. And I said, I want to come because <laughs> I love Death Valley, and I haven't been hiking in a while. Just seemed like this cool little adventure, you know, you start lowest spot on, in the U.S., and then you go up over 14 and a half thousand feet. We didn't know when we were going to meet up with you guys because we started at different times. Thank you so much for getting us down Oh here. yeah, no problem. <laughs> I failed. Uh, there's the sign. I wonder where they are. Yeah. Where are we trying to hitch to? Uh, Badwater Bay. Close to highest. Yeah. Oh, now we're gonna get a ride in a convertible. Super nice train. Super nice flow. We're not gonna die. Nope. At least not tonight. Yeah, right. <laughs> We've got a lot of uh, anxiety of this climbing this ridge in the snow. But we'll be fine, right? Be Should have brought my whippet. Doing the lowest to highest route. Starts at Badwater Basin, the lowest point in the 48, and goes up to Mount Whitney, the highest point in the 48. Where are we going? Do that climb. Okay. <laughs> Over there, and then we're gonna go over there and over there. Knowing that we didn't have any of our snow equipment just seemed like maybe we were walking into a situation that might be more than we could handle. I'm too nervous to eat right now. Damn, now you're making me nervous. Now I need to poop. <laughs> <laughs> John, where are you? Help us. Look who we found. I have no idea how these guys, well, Pepper Flake got ahead of us and John Z just came up behind us right as we were getting started for the day. So it's just really weird because we were right in the middle of the trail. But. Nice. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'd like to We finally all cut up to each other. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> John over there. Nick. Okay. It just feels like it's never gonna end. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. We're literally almost there. Literally? Literally. It looks like it. I could touch it. Yay! We were just like fresh off the couch, not in shape. And it's a pretty tough climb. When you guys showed up and Pepper Flake had done it before, I definitely was a little more confident in, you know, that we could do it. And uh, having him kick steps for most of the way up was uh, 
you know, nice just to look down, kind of focus on just your step instead of the exposure. And then coming down into Mahogany Flat, I thought it was just gonna be like a straight up mellow cruise because I'd done it before. But every time we hit like the backside of a ridge, there was just a bunch of more snow fields to go through and- Yeah, you did it. <laughs> I totally thought you were like, we were about to witness your death there for a minute. No way. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hello, internet world. Do you wish you were us? I bet you do. Um. I just expected it to be so hot, like unbearable. So that was actually pretty cool that I was able to withstand all that heat because it was hot, but yeah. You guys think it's gross when you pee in the bathtub as soon as you get in? <laughs> like that it's hot because you're taking a bath? Yeah. No. Just bathe it in my urine. <laughs> Yeah, we faced a pretty brutal windstorm crossing the Panamint Playa. So that should be fun. Oh yeah. decided to do a 30 and it just felt terrible and I was like why are we even doing this? Not yet 8 a.m. <sighs> why? Because everything hurts <laughs> and I'm questioning my life's decisions. <laughs> Daddy with all his babies. It certainly doesn't feel like Death Valley. The rock scramble begins. <laughs> We're not gonna die, right? No? Sweet. Every time you're going up on your, you know, hands and feet and you don't know what's around the corner, it's, it's a very cool experience. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> But then there was that storm coming, which I was like, should we be here? I don't know if we should be here, but everyone's like, it's chill, it's fun, just, just keep going. I think, I think it might be stormy. I think, I think it might be stormy. I can see rain, I can see, yeah, there's more lightning. But it's all fun, right? Why am I the only one concerned? I know I'm high, but I'm also the only rational one here.
still kind of storming a little bit. We're just waiting out at the uh, hut by the spring. Got some little friends over here. They nibbling at my fingers. Eek. Just little little love nibbles. This hike has been so many like different. Uh, it just has so many elements to it, like different elements. I love it. For some water? Yeah, I saw the track that we saw. I have a feeling you're gonna find it, even though you have no idea where it is. <laughs> no, the, no. Remember it was right by this trail? See the shiny bottles. Water! Yeah, thanks guys. brought it and I'm sharing it with my friends. So I'm nice. Yeah, I like watching you guys. Just like quietly observing everybody. Breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> oh is that bad? No, it's good. <laughs> favorite memory is probably laying in the desert somewhere when it's super quiet. You're just kind of looking up at like a Joshua tree or something. It's always pretty nice. Or just like hanging out, not doing anything. You know, it's pretty, pretty nice. Birthday I'm doing boy anything status. sometimes. Huh? Birthday boy status. Yeah, being a little birthday boy. definitely felt if there was any slight incline I was gonna be the slowest and the last one to be there and I'd always be like oh my god I'm gonna die I'm gonna die and then I'd turn a corner and everyone would be like lying on their back like oh my god this is it's like my birthday so every time everyone was taking a break and sitting down it felt like my birthday and so I became birthday boy oh. I love sitting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so much better than walking John, are you ready to rip the dick off this day? Is that a good thing? <laughs> yeah, dude, savage. Alright. You know, you're gonna crush it? You're gonna rip the dick off the day? I'm just gonna be hiking with my friends. Climbing up to Cerro Gordo. Getting really good views. Slow going, slow going indeed, but I don't care. Did anyone like surprise you in any way? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Nick, you always surprise me. Because you'll like <laughs> run downhill, but then going uphill, you're just like <laughs> out there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just very happy to be done with this. My shoes are wet. Well, we're not done yet. Well, you know, we're done with that part. Whoa. <laughs> this is sick. 
Best view ever. Wow. 10 out of 10. Even 12 out of 10. Gotta get some video of the struggle. Feeling like garbage? Think you might puke? Kind of. Yeah, it's reality. It's just the heat. Heat on the feet. Just way up here with crazy views all over the place. And walking is pretty mellow. Some ups, but pretty mellow. I'm also far behind, but saunter pace. My boy says saunter, so I got to saunter. Somewhere over there is Whitney. And we'll be there hopefully two days from now. Can you tell me what this thing is again? I carry like giant buckets of salt from Saline Valley over the Inyos, down to the Owens Valley. That's crazy. What a monster. Wow. No, don't do it. <laughs> Have to see another day. <laughs> town day, town day, town day, town day, town day, town day. Give me a little air guitar. Some track and pull guitar. Yeah, dude. The shot I've wanted all this time. Sick. So far, it's been so great. So far, it's been insanely awesome. I'm so happy we have John and Pepper Flake, especially Pepper Flake, to guide us. <laughs> We're alive because of him. Yeah, pretty much. John, like, true through this thing, not feeling well all the time. And that's the best time to walk with John. And he's just not a terminator. It's the only way to walk with John. Yeah, Lone Pine was like the best thing ever, just getting all the food and already feeling a little bit accomplished from uh, Lowe's to Jake's Saloon. He's trying to tell us something. He's telling us to stop. Don't go any farther. this is gonna turn out <laughs> but we have all the gear so we've done as much as we could wish us luck does anyone want to climb Whitney here no future Nick does current Nick does not no, I'm just doing it because you guys are and I would feel dumb if you guys did and I didn't <laughs> Plus, you got the fancy boots. I got fancy boots. I don't know how to use them. I think you just put them on your hands like this. I don't know what I'm doing. Walking off the it, it must be. You're just like, yeah. Phew. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We'll figure that it way out. you can hang on to your sandals the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Just like Jimmy Chin. Yeah. Hi! Like my cool boots, I already puked on them because I ate too many burgers in town. 
<laughs> Are you serious? That, just, that is the truth. Did you actually puke last night? No, I puked um, right before I started the trail because I ate too much. Not because I was sick. Right before you started what trail? The trail trail, like in Lone Pine. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, when? Yeah, when? Uh, when I went to go take a shower and I think we were puking. So, and you didn't tell me? At the hotel. No, you just like low-key vomited? <laughs> questions, comments, concerns? Questions? Uh, no questions, just concerns maybe? About snow conditions? <laughs> but we got this. <laughs> These things are so weird. That's what it looks like when you're the slowest person. Everyone just taking a nap, waving at you, looking at your fat, dumb, slow ass. We were in good spirits. Um, it was actually a really, really short day into camp. Well, here goes nothing. After we got done with telescope, I remember just thinking like, Whitney's gonna be something interesting and uh, the first day that we got up to Upper Boy Scout, the weather was great. It's like 2 p.m. People were thinking about pushing for the summit. It was being discussed. I was like, there's no way I can handle more elevation at this point. So there was a really nice spot cut out. So made up camp there. Uh, Dirty and I had the tent and then the boys slept outside like huskies in the snow, on the snow. Apparently they like, we have the right gear, we're comfortable, we're responsible, we know what we're doing. We survived the night. These guys got snowed on. But we made it. We were pretty cozy. We were cozy too. You guys were cozy? Yeah, we were cozy. Such huskies. They're crazy. The entire sky was just cloud. It was all gray. And we couldn't even see Mount Whitney. And it might get worse. So I'm pulling the plug for myself. These guys are gonna still try to push up a little bit higher. I'll be base camp guy. You're base camp guy? I'm base camp guy. We started hiking up to Mount Whitney. It was super cloudy, it was windy. Yeah, I don't think that any of us really had good hopes for actually making it to the summit, but we were just hiking at that point. We were just trying to get as far as we could. What was the highest? Lowest to highish. Down one member. Oh, we finished. Ooh, that's good. So we pushed as far as we could, knowing that we probably weren't going to get to the summit. Um, you can't see anything. Because we got all this gear. And yeah, we got all the gear. Man. I mean, we could technically go up the chute. It's right there. You want to just keep going? We're going to keep going. <laughs> To, I want to shit my pants. Lowest, uh, we got higher than Nick. There you go. <laughs> Let's take that. Exactly. I didn't want to keep going because I could tell it was going to be super windy up there. And I mean, we were pretty far up there, but also there was plenty of like 
sketchy, windy, exposed stuff to go. So it wasn't a good day to go up. It would have just been miserable. Do you feel like we did something? Oh yeah, totally. I've had a great time. I wouldn't take it back. How do you feel about quitting right now? It really sucks, <laughs> but it's about the journey. So I'm sure we'll get together at some point and actually finish this part. Yeah. Less than a mile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally less than a mile. It's just not the right conditions. I just feel like every time you go into a hike, you have that vision of that last moment of the hike ending. So I definitely had that vision that I was going to be on top of Whitney and, you know, it was going to be just a great feeling to be on Whitney for the fourth time, but via a different route. But, you know, that didn't get to happen. So yes, I was disappointed, but I was also very accepting of that outcome. and. I'm okay with it now. It just provides like another opportunity in the future to go ahead and do that. <laughs> going down, so it's yeah. more fun than going up. <laughs> yeah. Mountain park. <laughs> was I disappointed not finishing? Not really. Because it wasn't about like the trail and like focusing on the trail. It was about like going and hiking with friends. If I was just focusing on hiking the trail, I would have, you know, done things differently. That wasn't the point. I would have definitely been bittersweet moment if they had made the summit, being like, man, I really bitched out there, but, you know, no one was going to make the summit, so I guess it's okay. I definitely want to do something like this again, more of a route um, where kind of like anything goes and you don't really know what the outcome is going to be like. Yeah, I'd do it again. You gonna do the lowest highest the third time? Um, 